I'm going to guess that the average diehard Coors Light beer lover is probably not a diehard nail polish lover. <laughs> Today we're doing beer things. We're testing out a nail polish that apparently changes colors when your beer is cold enough to drink. I don't even drink beer. It's 11.30 in the morning. Ben, do we have beer? Who am I? What is going on? New Coors Light fingernail polish. I like how they say fingernail. Like what universe is this fingernail? Just say nail polish. <laughs> New Coors Light fingernail polish changes color based on your drink's temperature. Excuse me. Coors Light beer is one of the more popular brands of beer. Is it? Okay, is this sponsored? <laughs> what the fuck says that? This stream is not sponsored by the way. I am not affiliated with Coors or any beer company. Also, please drink responsibly and of the age in whatever state or country as the law allows. Coors Light is diversifying with a fingernail polish brand that works in one of the coolest ways ever. This reads like an ad from like 2002. <laughs> you thought testing the temperature of your beer before sipping had to be a boring moment forever. You thought wrong. Here's what beer lovers should know about this exciting line of nail polish. Oh my god, Trum Trum wrote this. Dip your banana in your nail polish to see if it's cold. There's a lot to get excited about if you're a diehard Coors Light beer lover. Who is their demographic? I'm gonna guess that the average diehard Coors Light beer lover is probably not a diehard nail polish lover. <laughs> is there a market for this? Um, yes, it's the sensational clickbait product marketing market. That's who it's for. It's for people like me who wanna make content out of it. It's for people like Distractify who wanna write articles about it to get clicks. That's the market, that's it. <laughs> there's, no, there's no real person on this earth who actually is like unironically like, yes, actually, I was looking for exactly that. Okay, before taking a giant swig of beer, you might be concerned about whether or not it's cold enough. Yes, I'm always very deeply concerned. I definitely can't tell by touching my glass how cold it is. You can even stick your finger in to test the status of coldness. This is actually written by Troon. Anyway, just thought of something. Okay, humor me for a second. What if AI is doing article writing? What if this article was written by a robot because they're like trying to replace humans so they don't have to pay them. And it sounds like Troom Troom. And what if Troom Troom scripts were written by AI? What if Troom Troom is AI? <laughs> they're all sent from Cyberlife. There also happens to be another way. According to CNN, the polish starts out in a shade of silver when you first paint it onto your nails. After touching your Coors Light beer, the polish will transition to a shade of blue, blue eyed girl, see, to inform you that your drink is cold enough to consume. It's sold out, okay. But I have it, so don't worry. Coors Chill Polish. So it looks regular blue at room temperature. Oh, did you see my other hand? What's on my other hand? Mmm, it's jewel tones. The dark rainbow collection with silver flake taco on top. <laughs> Smells like nail polish. Don't smell nail polish, by the way. Don't do what I'm doing. You know, this is one of those old school Simply videos where I'm like, don't do what I'm doing. I'm just doing it for content, you know? I'm gonna do a first coat. Pretty good coverage. That's actually like not bad. Like what? Why is it good? It's an off-brand Bet Bet Blue. Oh no, Julian, it's coming for you. Wait, how does it compare? Let's see. Oh, Julian. Okay, it's close. I would say this one's darker though. Bet Bet Blue from Julian's limited edition Holotaco collection. So usually with thermal nail polish, which this is, which basically just means it changes colors depending on the temperature that it's exposed to. Generally, that means that on your nail, your skin, your body is warmer. So anything from like the fingertip to your cuticle would be one color. And then your free edge, the nail that's hanging off your skin, I think that sounds terrible, <laughs> but like, you know, that will be cooler. So that's usually what happens. I'm just gonna add a glossy taco. Do they give a temperature range? Not on their website or here. Bam. You hold your beer and your nails are supposed to change color when you hold your beer. <laughs> no, it's cause it's already cold mode, I think. This is cold mode? Their whole concept makes no sense. <laughs> the idea is, oh, I grabbed my cold beer. I know if it's cold. The beer can's never gonna be so warm that it makes your nails 
warmer than your body. Do you think they're your, their experts in nail polish? No. Let this dry down, because see what's happening? It's changing lighter, and his free edge is darker. Okay, so it is changing. Okay, so when it's warm, it goes lighter. It goes gray. Blue. Like, this is a lot of work, just to be like, is my beer cold? How does it compare to Bep Bep now? It's not as vibrant. It's a little dustier. It's, it's, He's holding the beer. Oh, this beer feels cold to me. Just, is the beer cold? Keep holding. Let your hands freeze. You're gonna get frostbite from oh, holding yeah. this beer. Hands pretty cold. You're gonna get frostbite before your nail polish turns blue. <laughs> Why isn't it turning? This is a very cold it's can. Not <laughs> he still has body heat. His fingernail is still a finger width, a thicky finger width away from the beer can. Finger's thicky. Look at that, Mark. Look how cold that is. <laughs> Drink it now. Did it get a little darker? Okay, now it's bluer. But you have to you have to drink the beer for your nails to change color. <laughs> drink, chug, 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 chug. It's gotta get bluer, bluer, bluer. Let's go, Ben. Wait, no, why are you chugging this one? Ben, it's 11 a.m. The more you drink, more your nails change. So maybe it just like it can indicate how drunk you are. Yo, that's actually like kind of helpful. <laughs> Maybe it's like a breathalyzer, but on your nails. That would be real innovation. This one's good though. I'm, I'm not a fan, but I'll try it. I don't like beer. <laughs> How's the formula? It's pretty opaque. Cold water, hot water. Let's do hot water first. <gasps> Look, cold. Ooh. Warm. Ah. Cold. <laughs> Warm. Ah. Cold. Yo, wait, let's do it half and half. Look at that, French tip. So this is what my nail looks like naturally, kind of, except my body doesn't seem to be getting as hot as this glass of water. So I'm not getting the very light gray. Now this won't last on anyone, but on my nails, you can see that's probably more realistically what the split's gonna look like. But the color difference isn't gonna be as drastic as like hot, hot water versus cold, cold water. The air versus your body temperature is not that wild. Cold. Oh, it's chilly. Cold water. How hot is this? <laughs> hot water. Half cold water. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, you gotta have an idea. Look, now it's just blue in the middle. That kind of looks like art. It looks like a, like a sky or a painting. Cold, hot, wet. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get duck nails. Everyone beware, because when you shower, you get duck nails. Woo! Is this nail art, basically? <laughs> I think like this is fun for people to do for like five seconds to impress their friends and be really gross in a restaurant. Are you boring at parties? It's not a problem anymore. Just put beer nail polish on your fingernails and show off for the people. You will be the most popular person at the holiday party. Should we add holo? Let's do it. Okay, what taco should I add? We could do a little test and decide what taco and then watch it change with the taco. Oh my God, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant things we're doing on this channel. Revolutionary. Yeah, bitch, let's go. We're doing combos with beer. <laughs> this is red flake taco. This is so very weird. I kind of like it. It looks like we got in a bar fight. <laughs> this one is like the yellowy kind of glowing one. I find it's the most impactful over light shades. That's pretty. Okay, that actually looks good. What the fuck? We made beer look good. Polar princess. See, if the nail polish looked like this, if it came like this, then I would be more interested in it. Or if it changed to actually silver, this is what I was expecting so that it looks like your beer can. Coors Light, why doesn't it look like this when it's not cold and then blue when it's cold? All right, let's add a glossy taco. Let's do a poll if you like beer, let's do that. If you're of age, participate. If you're not, get out of here. Yes or ew. At the age of 34, I would probably prefer a sparkly wine, maybe a rosé. I do like to add ice in my wine. Don't sue me, it's fine. I'm, you know, I won't come to your restaurant if that offends you. I need sweetness, yeah, me too. I can't handle it anymore. I used to be able to just like drink straight alcohol, but I, not anymore, <laughs> not at this age. 67% of you don't like the taste of beer and 33% do like beer. Interesting. So yeah, so I don't really think beer has that much overlap with the nail polish loving community. Cold water, hot water, red flake taco. Let's go. <gasps> Look, it's gray. It looks like duct tape gray. Wait a second. Yo, kind of, very similar. Now let's make it cold. 
That's how it looks when it's not, like it doesn't get any darker blue, which is kind of annoying. This has been room temp, like I haven't dipped this in water. This one's very, should be very, very cold and it doesn't get any darker blue than that. Let's do a half and half. That's pretty. That looks nice. Stunning. Polar Princess looks really good on light colors. Quick little dip for a half and half. Yo, that looks good. Okay, Disney, Elsa, Frozen, I found your nail polish. Honestly, I'm so surprised this ended up not being a disaster. <laughs> you know what's weird? I didn't see any pictures or videos that showed it doing what it's supposed to do, which is change colors when your beer is cold enough. My nails are not changing colors and I'm holding my very cold glass of water. They're, they're marketing, you know, it doesn't really follow through. What topper should I use? Should we vote? Oh my God, <gasps> I just, what did I do? And I picked this off my keyboard. I fixed my keyboard. Man, is it unicorn skins? <laughs> Let's just see what people are feeling. Do you want unicorn skins XXXXX? Do you want shimmers, reflective, or hollow? Nail tip, never open your can of beer with your nails. Your nails are not tools. Instead, grab your hollow taco nail toolkit. <laughs> swear to God, if this explodes on my keyboard, I'm gonna sue Ben. Drink every time someone asks me when something's coming back in stock. <laughs> I'll be drunk in 10 minutes. <coughs> These are the five I'm gonna do a Skittle with. So I'm gonna start off with Lunar Unicorn Skin on my pinky. Okay, that actually looks nice. Like, what the fuck? Now I'm gonna use Linear Hollow Taco. Uniform rainbows in a line. That's how we describe it. Sonic Unicorn Skin. It's the blue unicorn skin. Silver Flake Taco. One of the new tacos. Highly requested after we released Gold Flake Taco. People were like, but what about silver? That looks like your beer can, Coors. Come on, what are you doing? If they only added specialty iridescent or holographic pigments to this, then they could have had a thermal changing polish that also has speckles that look like ice or something. Like that would have been so much smarter. Now let's do reflective taco. When you approach a stop sign or a safety vest, you see those like reflective stripes of the safety gear or whatever, or the stop sign reflect back from your headlight lights, that's kind of like what this is. Except they're like little sparkles. Does this make you want to make a color changing polish for Holo Taco? So Holo Taco has very strict uh, requirements for what it chooses to release, what it can manufacture, and we will never release anything until it goes through all proper testing, regulatory, et cetera, et cetera, to make sure that we are comfortable with it. If I had to advise Coors Light <laughs> on what, which one that would suit their polish the best, I honestly think Silver Flake Taco kind of looks like crushed ice. So I think that looks really good. But Reflective Taco also gives it that kind of sparkle. This is what my nails look like at their natural state. Cold. Look at that, look at that, it's cold nails. Hot. This is fun. I am easily amused. This is the reverse of what it would look like. Uh, at its natural state, we've got white tips, but it fades very quickly. It's so much easier for this polish to look blue and the only time it's gonna look white or gray is for a limited time only when your hands have been dipped in hot water. It looks better if you add a hollow taco. <clears throat> On that note, let's conclude here. Whatever, this was all supposed to be a marketing gimmick and it worked because look who bought it. Yeah! I did. <laughs> all right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. See y'all later, bye.